For those of you viewing this videotape or about to view this videotape, uh, this is a 245 scenario for AJ-109 uh, introduction to patrol. Um, what you're going to see is uh, a scenario that involves a 245 assault with a deadly weapon. Essentially, it's a bar fight uh, or a bar attack, basically, um, during uh, a football game uh, on a Thursday night. Uh, we'll make it any night, any Thursday night in October. You can go ahead and pick that yourselves. Um, the time of the attack is going to be about 1900 hours or 7 p.m. Um, you're going to uh, see and hear an interview with a victim. Uh, the victim is found on the floor. Um, he's been apparently hit over the head with uh, a beer bottle. Uh, you'll see that from the crime scene uh, photos. Uh, he doesn't remember much. Uh, he remembers uh, making some comment about the Raiders, uh, having someone behind him uh, yell fuck you at him. Uh, he gets a blow to the head and he wakes up on the floor. Um, he heard the sound of the voice, but he really uh, never saw the person who hit him. Um, you're also going to uh, hear and see an interview with uh, someone who was walking in the area outside the bar. By the way, this is a silver and black watering hole. I don't think I mentioned that. And the address is 16003 South Prairie Avenue. And uh, in any event, you're going to hear someone who, while approaching the bar, uh, southbound on Prairie on the west side of the street, uh, saw a man come running out, running towards him and passing him. He saw a crowd outside the bar uh, moments later, uh, went into the bar to see what was going on and saw the victim on the floor. He's going to give you um, a description of the person he saw running past him, the apparent suspect, and where he saw him go. Last, you're going to hear and see an interview by the bartender. She is actually the one who uh, made the call 911. Uh, she has a little more information. Uh, she was attending bar and serving the customers. It was quite uh, crowded, about three deep at the bar. And she sees a hand come go up in the air holding a, bo a bottle, hit the, um, the victim on the head, back of the head. She sees the victim fall to the floor. She didn't get a look at the face of the uh, suspect. She saw his arm and the bottle. But she did see his back as he ran uh, out the uh, east door, and she'll be able to describe how he was dressed and body type and so on. Um, what you're going to need to do is document those three statements as you've been taught. Um, you're going to need to examine the crime scene. We have a couple of crime scene photos for you to look at. Uh, I expect complete detail in the crime scene uh, description. Um, collect the evidence of the scene, which for the moment appears to be primarily uh, this bottle, broken bottle on the floor, um, covered in blood. Also crime scene, uh, crime scene photos of the victim's wounds. Uh, he has a, a, a cut on the back of the head and he's got a bruise on his left cheek. Um, following that, you're going to um, uh, document the evidence. You're going to write a conclusion. You're going to tell me how the crime occurred. Uh, when it occurred, um, who the perpetrator was, even if that is unknown, but you'll be able to describe him, and uh, conclude your report. Uh, you'll also need to complete the face pages, uh, a crime report uh, form, front and back, including the MO side, a suspect page, uh, including the MO side on the back of that, with a, a complete description of the suspect, uh, a property report, documenting your evidence, and the photo log. Uh, remember, I had taught you to, uh, in terms of crime scene photos, shoot your way in, shoot your way out. The entryway to this bar is a, uh, from a door on the west side of the, of the building. Uh, there is an east side door leading into a parking lot. Uh, the bar is located, um, uh, the bar itself, on the uh, north side of the, of the room. Uh, on the south side are some pool tables. Um, the bar itself, the establishment, is about 40 feet uh, long from running from west to east and about 20 feet wide running from north to south. On the crime scene sketch, which you're going to complete, don't forget, north is always up. Uh, and you're going to be doing a floor plan sketch instead of a drop wall sketch. And that is it. 
The time is 18.30 hours. 9M2 Sam, a 2.45 just occurred, silver and black watering hole, 16003 South Prairie. Victim down. Suspect is a WMA. Medium height, stocky build, maybe 250. Long brown hair. Baseball cap turned backwards. Uh, Suspect is wearing a Fu Manchu mustache. Suspect is last seen northbound on Prairie on foot. 9 Adam 2 Sam. Hi, uh, what's the problem here? What happened to you? We got to call the fight. Uh, I was standing watching the Raider game. And uh, the Raiders were getting their ass kicked, as usual. And, uh, you know, I was kind of upset. Um, I said, uh, Raiders suck. Fuck Al Davis. And the next thing I know, um, I heard a voice behind me saying, fuck you. And I was waking up with a really sore head. And the left side of my face hurting a lot. Now, that's what I remember. Where did the voice come from? The voice came behind me a little bit to the left. I believe. Hey, could you see who was behind you? No, I couldn't. Because I think the bar there has a mirror in front, but you you didn't, couldn't quite see it. it no, I, I had no clue what was going to happen. I, okay. you know, I was looking at the TV while it happened. About what time was this? I'd say around seven o'clock. And around seven the, t- the TV was on. You guys were watching football. Yes, yeah. Raiders versus the Broncos. Okay. Uh, had you heard that voice before? Um, I believe so. Um. Uh, there was a group of guys behind me, and there was one particular guy who was really drunk, and he was the loudest out of all of them, and the voice sounded like his. Okay, but you never got to look at him, you no, said? No, I never got to look at him. Okay, and, and where did the blow come from, or whatever it was? Now, there's a broken bottle down the floor in front of you. I assume that's what was used? I think so, because I'm bleeding, and um, my face hurts a lot on my left side. Um, I don't know what that you know, where that came from, because I don't think I got punched or anything like that. Did you get a chance to talk to any people around you to see if they saw him? No, not, well, they told me that he ran out, mm-hmm. um, and they were just trying to help me up, and I was really confused when I woke up. All right, the paramedics are going to be here any minute now. I'm going to, got some other people to talk to. My partner's going to, going to be with you here while uh, the paramedics are arriving. If you think of anything else that uh, you can remember, uh, let me know. I'm pretty sure you're going to be going to the uh, trauma center, the emergency room, to get patched up because okay. it looks like you got a pretty good nick in the back of your head. Okay. So we'll get right back to you. Thank you, sir. Hey, good, uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm a police officer. I'm conducting an investigation. Is um, I'm looking for someone who maybe saw what happened. As you can see, we got a guy on the floor, that, uh, some kind of a fight or altercation, and I'm wondering what you saw. Well, I was coming southbound uh, on Prairie from the golf course when I saw this guy run out of, uh, from the bar. You know, I, I heard all like all this screaming and I saw him run out and he ran northbound towards me and uh, he passed me. And I went into the bar to see what was going on and I saw you know some guy sprawled out on the floor and a bunch of people around him trying to figure out what was going on. So then I decided, you know, to tell you guys, you know, I saw him running out. Where did he, now you said he passed you? Yeah. And he was running southbound? No, no, northbound. northbound, yeah. And where did he turn? He turned on 164th place. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, I was able to get a good look at him right before he turned. What did he look like? He was wearing uh, a black Raiders baseball cap turned backwards. He had like long stringy brown hair. Uh, he had a Fu Manchu mustache, uh, white male. Fro- he was stocky, so approximately 250 pounds. Uh, also wearing a Raiders number 55 black and silver jersey uh, and blue jeans. All right. Did he say anything to you as he passed? No, he just straight up went past me. Did you see um, a car? No car, no. Okay. Um, can you identify him again if you were to see him? Oh yeah, definitely. If you can think of anything else that I haven't asked you, you know, I'm going to give you my business card, give me a call. Uh, we got the paramedics getting ready to take this guy away. Uh, looks like he's got a bad neck on the head. Thank you for your help. All right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ray Lewis. I'm a police officer. Uh, uh, I understand you called the police. I can see there's been a real problem here. Uh, we got a guy on the floor, and paramedics are getting ready to start on him. Tell me what happened. Well, I was working. It was a busy Thursday night at about 6 o'clock. Everything was crazy. There was a Raiders and a Denver game on. And then all of a sudden, I hear this guy 
yell, Raiders suck, fuck you. And then all of a sudden behind him comes this hand with a bottle. I didn't see a face, just a hand. And he hit the guy on the head and said, fuck you. Okay, then what happened after that? Um, I didn't see much. It was kind of crazy. I think the guy that got hit fell over. And then I saw the guy, a guy, run out of the room. Did you see his face? I didn't see his face. Uh, just his back? Just his back. He had a Raiders jersey on. It was a black and silver. Mm-hmm. And I think it was number 55 on the back. Okay. Uh, did he have a hat on, did you say? He had a hat on. It was mm-hmm. backwards. And uh, describe his body type. Uh, how was he built? Um, he was kind of short and stocky, long brown hair. That's all I really saw. Caucasian? I think so, yes. Okay. Um, now, you... you st- you said you didn't actually see the face. No. Um, but nobody else was running for the door? No, not that I saw. Okay. Did you talk to any of the customers to see if anybody saw him? Not really, no. Okay. It was too crazy. Just trying to hold things together? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you heard that voice again, could you recognize it? I might be able to, yes. Okay. Are you familiar with uh, Mr. Garcia, the guy on the floor? Have you have you seen him before? Um, I saw him tonight. I was serving them drinks. And ever, uh, was ever how was how were things going prior to that incident? Things were starting to get a little crazy. There was a lot of rivalry in the room. Okay. There was uh, the crowd was three rows deep. It was crazy. If um, something else comes up, if you have something else that you remember, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you my business card. Just give me a call, okay. and I'll be glad to talk to you. And we'll go ahead and add to what you've already given us, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.